Okay, so I'm back with Taurus Moon and Leo Moon. Sinistry, honestly, I feel like this one can this one can vibe. This one can vibe. Um, because Leo is fixed, Taurus is fixed. So it's like once they've made that decision to say, hey, we're in this relationship, we're in this together, they're pretty much going to be pretty, they're gonna be pretty solid with it. They're pretty much gonna stick in with it regardless of whatever is happening. And um, Taurus likes attention, but at the same time, not as much as Leo. So Taurus doesn't mind giving Leo the attention that it wants or that it needs. Um, I think that at some point, Taurus might just be like, okay, you know, um, since Taurus Moon is more simpler um, and, and more cool when it comes to emotions and interacting on a personal level, Leo Moon might feel like sometimes it's not enough. Leo Moon might want like um, continuous praise or attention. Now, not always, okay? Because the Leos will come and they'll hear me talking that mess about them and they'll be like, oh, well, Leos don't like attention and Leos, are... and I'm like, okay. Even though you're the sign known for attention, I get it. You know, you don't really want to admit that because people paint it in a very bad light. Now, I will also say this. Sometimes that Leo energy attracts partners in or people in or have these people in their life that wants the attention from Leo. I don't, listen, I can go both ways and look at this fairly, but I'm just saying where Taurus Moon could be a little bit more simpler and just like trying to chill and just like relax and snuggle up or just be like, hey, boo, you over there doing your thing. I'm over there doing my thing. Leo Moon might want to stay up a little bit more like heat and passion and they gonna you know want a little bit more dramatics and action you know leo moon might be wanting to get out there more and do things and be on the scene interacting with friends and things of that nature taurus moon i'm not saying that taurus moon can't or don't want to interact with friends because taurus moon can go hang with leo moon and do that thing but taurus moon is going to be like dude like at the end of the day like let's just chill okay like that's all I want to do. Now, the thing about it is, like I said, they have the ability, though, to, it's not, you know what I mean? Like, Taurus is very stubborn. I feel like that's the thing that would get on Leo's Leo Moon's nerves, but it's the same thing that gets on every other Moon sign nerves about Taurus. Moons. You cannot really move Taurus Moons emotionally unless they want to be, unless they allow it to happen. Now, I'm not saying that Taurus moons are insensitive or they're unemotional. I'm saying like Taurus moon could really rationalize their emotions, like even more than an air sign moon can, because Taurus Taurus moon is usually comfortable most of the time, or like they make their environment comfortable. You really won't catch them environment in, in environments where they're uncomfortable, even around other people that they're uncomfortable with. So. Their whole thing will be, okay, so how is this other person that I'm with moving? Like, what are they doing? You know, because if they doing things that got me looking at them sideways, I don't know if I want to be around them. You know, like, I just, I don't know. So, Taurus Moon will try to put people that they are involved with through tests, even if it's a subconscious test. They're doing it because they're like, ah, let's see. Like, and I know it depends on the sun sign, but it's like, I don't know if I really want to jump in this situation with you. I got to feel you. I got to see what you're going to do. Like, I got to see how you move. Like, hmm, are you solid is what Taurus Moon is looking for. I feel like what makes these two work is that Leo Moon is solid. They might got extra stuff going on with their personality. You might, they might be a little dramatic sometimes depending on their placements, but they pretty solid though. When Taurus Moon is looking out and they're looking at how, um, and they could like how, um, Leo Moon pays them attention to, you know, and, but in the passion that Leo Moon's bring, but I'm just saying like when Taurus Moon is looking out and they watching Leo Moon moves pretty solid for them or to them. Leo Moon is like pretty much. I'm not saying that they're all the time consistent because remember Aquarius is the opposite of Leo, but Leos don't like they're fixed a lot of times in their behavior. So Taurus moon feels more safe. It feels like more trustworthy in Leo moon. 
You know, and I noticed that Leo, Leo sometimes, like, as a Gemini son, but I got, like, uh, I got a Taurus moon myself. And I'm more along the lines of the cusp of Gemini, too. So, you know, Leo's, where Leo's can get on my nerves because they look for so much attention. I also like them. I like their energy because I be like, dang, like I like the way that they move because even if they are doing something behind my back, I feel like, like I trust them. Like I, they, 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 they on my side, like when they're on your side or when they with you, they on your side and they with you. And that's really what Taurus Moon looks for. Like Taurus Moon likes to know, okay, at the end of the day, I'm in a relationship with Leo Moon. Is we going to be in a relationship at the end of the day? Like, two weeks from now, is we going to be in a relationship? Are we still going to be down with each other? Is this still going to be what I think it is? And if it's not, huh, I don't got time to be switching up and changing. And Leo's, it's like, I don't got time to be switching up and changing either. Not my whole life. You might, I might change a thought process. I might change a behavior. You know, I might change what my favorite food is, but I ain't got time to be uprooting and changing up my whole life and people and stuff like that just because, on it, I feel an inkling to go out and just explore the world and enjoy life. No, Leo Moon will go explore and enjoy life, but then they're going to still maintain what they have. And I feel like that's what Taurus Moon appreciates about them. And Leo Moon really does like the fact that um, Taurus will be willing to pay them that attention. They like the environment that Taurus provides and the stability that Taurus provides. Okay. I feel like maybe sometimes they could lack passion though. You know what I mean? That they could lack the passion and the desire that Leos want to feel, but they will put their stableness and their stability over it all. And I feel like, Hey, that's where the, like a lot of the compatibility comes in at here so these two definitely have the um you know they have the ability to maintain their synastry and um they're not too neither one is too hung up on emotions but i feel like what would get them is maybe if taurus is too complacent for leo moon and if leo moon is too much of wanting Taurus to be like this dramatics and you know <sighs> you know I feel like that's where there could be some conflict of interest and this is just keeping it simple and keeping it basic without the rest of the chart you know um but other than that this has been Taurus Moon Leo Moon compatibility synastry I'm Butterflies Light as you know I'll be back